I don't even know where I am. We can start over. Right. Good. Now, Hi. hey guys! Welcome back to another episode of Music Mondays. This week, we're talking about Khaled. Khalid. Khaled. It's Khalid. I know. I hate myself. It's not DJ Khaled, it's Khalid. How's my hair? Because last, a couple of... You can see it. Like, I kind of, though. I don't... Do you think I can see that far? Girl, I have What no is up with the people that I know not being able to see? I want you to try on my glasses. You know that I'm also blind. It's because your glasses are always fingerprinted. Because you push up your no, glasses with the finger. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've seen you put your finger on your lens to push your glasses up. Push it right here. You want to hear a story? World? Internet world? So I wear my glasses every day. And the very, very few times that I do wear my contacts, I push my glasses up like this. Okay? I will hit myself fully in the face because I think I have my glasses on and then I'm just like, because I don't have my glasses on. Also, people don't recognize you at all when you don't have your glasses on. I don't fucking get it. Like, they'll, they'll be like, oh my God, Leah? And I'm like, do I look that different? No. Without glasses on my face? No. Like, I know that my under eye bags are astounding and you can see them more when I don't have my glasses on, but like, come on, people. Come on people oh my eyes is melted what are we talking about khalid mm. khalid mm. was this album tasty i was it was so, it's, it's really so good, good. <laughs> it's really good but i will say right off the bat it feels very much like the wallows album where it all sounds like it could be on a soundtrack yes which i like the way it is with this one better because it <coughs> the songs are different enough. Yeah. Yeah, they shit on him. Oh. Pitchfork shit on him big time. Oh. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Yeah. Pitchfork <laughs> shit on him big time. Well, Pitchfork, Pitchfork. <laughs> pitchfork can kiss my ass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I got a lot of phlegm happening. He's a good person. Kelly it is. Do you, do you realize that, uh, sorry, I'm touching your arm now. Don't touch me. <laughs> like on, on, on when? Yeah. I love when, when Trixie touches her and she goes, ow. Yeah. <laughs> but then she'll touch yeah. Trixie and they always do a, yeah. like a, yep. Yeah. Um, I was born in 1996. Khalid was born in 1998. Mm-hmm. He just turned 21 like a couple months ago. Look where I am currently right now. My umbrella is broken. It turned inside out a couple times today. Oh, Jesus. That happened to me like seven times mm-hmm. today. And both of our broken. umbrellas are broken, and they both turned inside out today. Anger, anger. Um, yeah. I don't, do not, I do not want to sign up for the newsletter pitchfork. Get out of my fucking face. But anyway, mm-hmm. let's just talk about a little bit about Khalid. Mm-hmm. So, can we talk about it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Sorry, we were just reading directly off Wikipedia today. Um, Thank you, Wikipedia, for sponsoring us. Just kidding. We're not sponsored by anybody. Um, So, Khalid began writing and creating music in high school, posted his early works to SoundCloud. In uh, 2016, he reached number two on the Billboard uh, Twitter Emerging Artist Charts with his single location um, that began charting. And I haven't really gotten into Khalid. Um... I don't know why, because I'm like, this is so His voice good. is, like, butter. It's it is. So it's good. beautiful. And, his, and I was like, where runs, the fuck have I been? His range is great. Mm-hmm. So, um, where was I? Crap. Uh, da, 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 da. So, did, 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 his first album's second single, Young, Dumb, and Broke, which I think is a song that, like, everybody knows. Yep. Um, there was a Snapchat filter with it at one point. Yeah. That's that's the song that, like, kind of launched him. Mm-hmm. Um, so, in 2017, he sold out a 21-city tour, um, American Teen. His debut studio album was released March 3rd, 2017. Uh, the album received critical acclaim and Grammy nominations for Best Urban Contemporary Album and Best R&B Song for Location. Um, <clears throat> in October of 2017, the album went platinum, which is crazy. That's selling over a million 
albums, if you were wondering. Um, in 2017, he won a VMA for Best New Artist. Um, he made his television debut performing location on The Tonight Show. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, with the roots, obviously. Duh. Um, <clears throat> he had a song in Grey's Anatomy. Uh, ba, ba, ba. So, yeah. And then he collabed with Billie Eilish, um, which we did is, last week. Yeah. We're, we're really pandering to the so teens. Good. We um, really are. Yeah. Teens, listen to us. Hey, teens. Uh, <clears throat> here we are. So, yeah, and then this album was released April 5th, so very recently. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and it's really good. It has a short film accompanying the album, so that's it. Mm-hmm. Cool. cool. He cool. Uh, is the first to claim the entire top five of the Hot R&B Songs chart for Billboard wow. ever. So all wow. five of his, all five spots are him. And it's the first time it's that's ever insane. happened. Um, so that's pretty cool for a 21-year-old. Yeah. Um, I also saw on here, he grew up on military bases with his mom. Mm-hmm. Um, and it said he started singing as early as he could speak, and his mother performed with the U.S. Army Chorus. Oh, cool. Um, a supportive environment at El Paso's America High School. Um, sparked his creativity and boosted his confidence. He uploaded his first recordings in high school, um, and they quickly reached an AR executive at RCA. Nice. So he is actually second in the world right now, according to Spotify, with 48.9 million monthly listeners and 5.9 million followers. Who's first in the world? Unsure. I wish that I could click on that second in the world thing. I'm gonna look it up. How far does it I don't want a lot of them. Drake? <coughs> Ed Sheeran? I have no idea. It's giving me a list of songs that like were hits and I that's just not what I care about. Drake's tenth. Which um <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's Spotify just had a literal it stroke. Um, it doesn't matter. We're not talking about other artists. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, this album's really good. Um, he also had his a project come out early. Or no, mid-2018? I think it came out in the fall. Um, called Sun City. I don't know if you mentioned it. Sun City. Um, I don't think I did. There's only seven tracks. It has Better and Saturday Nights on it, which are both on uh, the album. And a lot of people didn't like Sun City. Like, a lot of his, like, hardcore fans didn't really like Sun City. So, hmm. that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, Should we talk about how Pitchfork crapped on them? I, I don't know why. Way. So, it says the second album for the historically inoffensive singer is another genreless collection of safe choices for a pop star in the making. And honestly, first of all, He's 21, okay? Newly 21. He's one of the biggest artists in the world, probably. And his music is good, okay? Pitchfork, freak off. <laughs> I saw one of their writers, that, the writer that wrote that, mm-hmm. um, they tweeted, it was like, Khalid's album made me feel like a teenager wearing white vans sitting on the hood of my car in a teen rom-com. And I wrote about it and I clicked and that was like, I was read that and I was like, yeah. And then I clicked on it and they gave him a 4.7 and I was like, just because that's okay. That That's not necessarily a bad thing. Right. You know, like that's not. Yeah, I get it, but it's not that's not a bad thing. Right. Um This album like he's no, he's not a teenager, but like he's coming out I, of teenager. I'm saying as if we're so much older than he is. I know. Like I mean, we're a year older than him. Yeah. Um but like first of all, he's making the music that he likes and it's good. Second, you gotta know your audience. Yeah, you gotta give does. your audience what they want, and that's what he's doing. Because that's what 
this his music is what his audience wants and what they like, and he's giving it to them because that's what sells. That's just how the industry works. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Pitchfork. Did you see that video of him meeting Beyonce? Yes. And she was like, you're so good. And mm -hmm. then the next day he tweeted, he was like, Beyonce told me I was really good. Yeah. Can you imagine Beyonce telling you that you were talented? Imagine going up to Beyonce thinking she has no idea who you are, and then she tells you that you're a great artist. I, I shit my pants every time a grad student tells me that I've delivered a monologue well <laughs> in my class that I have to deliver it to them for a grade. That's funny. I freak out. I'm like, oh my god. Let alone Beyonce. Yeah. Like, I haven't watched her uh, Oh yeah, I haven't watched Homecoming yet. I think we're going to have a watch party. Me and my roomies. Me and my roomies. <laughs> I hate that I just said that. Um, <clears throat> so, I... <coughs> Unsure if there's a song on here that I don't like. I have one. Twenty one. Paradise. Okay. Didn't love it. That's fine. Um. I'll allow it. Nothing else on here. I didn't enjoy. I was super into this. I love that he collabed with John Mayer. Yes. Love that. That's some good. That's that shit I do like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. What was um, your favorite one? My favorite, it's kind of a tie between Talk or Out of My Head with mm -hmm. John Mayer. Um, Talk, I think, was the first single that he released off the album that wasn't on Sun City. Um, and it's just like, when that song comes on, I'm like, yes, mm -hmm. we can mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. talk. Absolutely. <coughs> I'm sorry I keep coughing. I am very phlegmy. Drink more coffee. <clears throat> That's going to help. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite? My favorite's the intro. I love, I love albums that have a specified intro. Yes. The title is just intro. I thought it was just going to be just like a little minute musical thing and then I clicked on it and it's this big, beautiful, sounds like it was kind of recorded in a big space, mm -hmm. big boomy drums, boomy. Um, just, all of the things that I like about a song in a, in one song, mm -hmm. and I was like, mm hmm, yes, this is it. Absolutely. I listened to it. I've listened to it on repeat all morning, actually. So good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really good stuff. Yes, I like a lot of this. <laughs> I like. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, I like a lot of this album. I like Bluffin. But I always get the lyrics wrong. Yeah. You know what I just realized? Hmm. We have this on cardioid. We could put it on Omni. And it would make more sense to have it stand straight up. On the butt? Or should it be on the circle? It should be on the circle. Get ready for an audio change, everybody. Uh, Why don't we? Hey. Oh, Ooh. look at that difference. Holy Ooh, shit. Uh, it's only been. Yeah. Only like 47 weeks. episodes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're louder and us clearer. Us studies how to use these instruments, us. Put on your butt or on your circle. <laughs> wow, that make difference. I love I, that we have a degree. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Almost. We're getting there. Close enough. Ugh. I like to say that I have a college degree, even though I don't. And even with a college degree, I probably still have no People keep what saying, I'm doing. congrats on graduating, and I keep going, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen between now and May 10th. You never know. Um. Oh yeah, I've had like alumni associations emailing me. They're like, donate back. And I'm like, I haven't even graduated yet. I just gave you $40,000. <laughs> Please kiss my ass. Yeah, can you like, I have a, I have some loans to pay first. <laughs> Thank you. How about you give me my money back? I also don't have a job. So we also, if anybody in the Michigan area wants to hire me, please. I'm begging at this point. <laughs> Anyone in the Indianapolis area that would like to hire me, that'd be great too. Mm-hmm. We just told them where we're in. Don't follow us. I mean, both. <laughs> you just said Michigan. Yeah. Just anywhere in Michigan, you gave them options. I at least narrowed it down to a city, you but did. it's a large city. Yeah. Um, Don't follow me anywhere. What else should we say about him? Has uh, 
Quezon City, man, in the Philippines. They love pop music. They love Khalid. I bet they do a lot of karaoke to put Khalid. I bet they do a lot of karaoke. They love karaoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Way Killer. What? The My Way Killer in the Philippines. Yeah, I remember that one. I'm caught up, man. I don't remember this. <laughs> the Miley Killer, it's this guy in the Philippines that goes to karaoke bars and anybody that sings the song My Way, oh. if it's not up to his standards, he murders him. I do remember what you're talking about. You guys listen to My Favorite Murder? Yeah, it's good. you should. Good, good podcast. Um, hi, Karen and Georgia. Because they listen. Um, They're if you're busy. listening to our podcast, <clears throat> let's talk. Karen we or just you. even we're obsessed with you. Um, that's and the it. cats. And that's the dogs. gonna be. We are Karen in Georgia. One day. Yeah, I'll have three cats and you'll have two dogs. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just be sipping on our sparkling wines and doing podcasts. Yep. And we'll have somebody. <laughs> no, that's me. What if we started our own <laughs> podcast channel with all kinds of different? We have the time to do that. What are you talking about? I don't know. But think about it. (laughs) We could talk about... Dirt. Dirt. (laughs) Grab a pocket full of dirt. Put on your boots. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of dirt. What are we talking about? Not Khalid anymore. We are both delirious. Absolutely delirious. Listen, y'all. It's the end of the semester. It's the end of the semester. We're drained. My show's in tech right now. We're about to record some more episodes after this one. I don't have a single functioning brain cell left at all. I'm seeing Hippocampus tonight, though, so that's really cool. I'm uh, doing a concert at Grey House tonight. Yeah, Taylor's been planning that for months, and yeah, it's tonight. We're both broken people. But Woo-hoo. this has been kind of short. Should we just move on, though? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guess this what? is always what happens when we like an album. When we unanimously like an album, we're like, it's good. That's all we have to say. It's good. It's I am good. blasting out of this. It's fine. I'll, I just, turn, I, I'll turn it down in post instead of video. Hello. That's better. <laughs> um, also, mine go. Yeah, mine's clipped a couple times. Maybe I should turn it down. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. That's mine that's clipping. Is it? I'm on the left. <gasps> well, that clipped because I just okay yeah maybe because <laughs> you oh, I just um, did it again it's fine sorry for your ears I hope your volume's um, all the way up guess what we're gonna talk about on the next episode guess, guess what? what guess what we're gonna fucking talk about <sighs> we're gonna rumors. tell you about <laughs> we're gonna talk about rumors by Fleetwood Mac <laughs> <laughs> something that because you've you, never heard of it it just released you've never heard of it and if you haven't your life has been nothing. It's true. If you don't, if you have not listened to this album thirty thousand times, your life has been nothing, and I'm mad at you. This is rumors is the best album to ever grace the face of this planet. I have it on vinyl. She has it on vinyl. <clears throat> My mom has the CD. <laughs> we don't have it on vinyl. I have it on vinyl. <sighs> I'm so excited. Um, in the meantime, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Anchor, all of the above. Also, check out our Friday Face playlist. I haven't updated it in a while, so there's that. Uh, next week, we've got Fleetwood Mac. We just said that. I'm just going down the list. Uh, at Music Monday Cast. Yep. That's all. That's all, folks. See you, That's all, folks. Bye. Bye. I'm going to change my shirt now. Me too. So you guys have the illusion. It's a whole other week, and it's not the same day. Both of us, <laughs> both of us do our hair the same every day, anyway. So yeah. it's not like they'll know. Hee hee, hee hee.